Hello and welcome back to the kingdom. I'm the Duke and we are back in Conan Exiles. So I've got a nice cup, a hot cup of tea ready to go. I've got some ideas in my head of what I want to do today. And um, I hope you are ready to join me on our next step in this building journey. This is a Let's Build series, so we've mainly focuses on um, buildings and every now and then we will see if we can do some uh, story content as well. So today there are two things that I want to try and get uh, finished. Currently we are standing in the location of where we are building our set town or the town um, that focuses on the set religion. This is where the temple is going to be but we are not going to work on the town today. Um, there is something else that actually needs our attention first. As you can see on my health bar there at the top, as well as the stamina bar, I've got 15% uh, corruption. Um, uh, so we need to address that today. And I'm also going to try and address my food situation. So we're going to tr do some kitchen stuff. So let's back, help on back to the main base. Okay, so here we are. Back at the main base. And uh, in the certain center part of the main building, you will see there are four corners basically where we are going to do some stuff. Um, she is not going to stay here. She's actually Elena, part of one of the mods that I'm using where you can buy um, seeds that you can plant. Um, but she's actually going to move to the outside where I have, uh, for instance, this camel as uh, part of the decoration. But uh, I'm going to have a lot of uh, market stalls and stuff out here that we are going to use. Also, you will see that I've added um, these signs on the inside. So I know my storage goes from A, B to B, O over on this side. And on this side it is from S, I up to Z. Uh, but the corner we're going to focus on first is going to be this corner. Now this is going to be the kitchen area. So it's going to have two parts basically. The one for cooking and the other one for making potions and stuff. We also need to add all the storage uh, in here as well in in terms of storage for preservatives food spices all that stuff and then the second thing we're going to focus on in, in terms of the corruption we're going to have this corner for thralls so it's going to have two parts as well it's going to have some dances over here and then the second part is going to be where I keep all my other thralls stored, bas uh, stored basically. So, um, maybe also the torturous table. I'll probably move that up here as well. So, that's what we're going to try and do today. So, to start off, let's do the kitchen first. Now, I've already gathered some resources over here. So, I'm just going to take all of that. And uh, let's start with... Crafting stations, cooking, uh, the improved stove. So that's the first thing we need to do. Now, I think I'm going to use this corner for the kitchen, for the cooking, rather. So let's see if we can um, get this spaced in right nicely. There we go. Now I also have a cook thrall that could go in there. Very nice. Uh, any spiced food? Now the reason why I ask about any spiced food is... Stew, exotic feast... Um, Where's the spiced food? Meat strips. 
spiced. Here we go. Exotic flesh and uh, normal spice. Uh, spice steak. Normal spice again. Okay, um, that's mainly because one of the challenges is to eat something spicy. So I'll do that later. Okay, but uh, next up, let's see. I've got this uh, meat rack that I can place as decoration maybe right next to it but then I'm also looking at uh, uh, general I think nope now where was it crafting I just need to try and find it real quick um, it's not going to be on the smithing, but just to make sure. Let's go to special, maybe. Nope. Nope. It's not on the sorcery. Why are there two different Guardian assembly stations? Anyway, try it. It's not on the religion. It's not on the general. Weaving, turning, no. Farming. No, I don't think so. There are some pretty interesting stuff in here as well. And cooking. It's supposed to be on the cooking, isn't it? I don't see it. Um, it might actually be under storage. Here we go. A greater ice box. That's what I wanted to do. Now let's place this to the side of the stove. I think. Let's see if we can center it a little bit better. Maybe something like that. And then I might use the foraging one, maybe. And uh, let's go with the storage bags. It's fairly small, but we can use it as decoration. But maybe we should do that later when we have a better idea of where we want everything to go. Wine barrel. Of course, but this is probably going to be on this side, together with the L kicks. Hanging storage, maybe? Yeah, this we can do. Maybe two of them. That looks cool. Okay. Then, in terms of storage, we'll probably have to try and figure out uh, what storage we are going to need. Um, we'll do that a little bit later. Blood gems, not what we are looking for. Um, I've got a wooden bucket here that I can place. So let me close that one. Yeah, it's pretty small, isn't it? This will have to do for now. Just going to place it over there. And then I've got some signs just to help me. How small are they? Big are they? Just to show that this is the kitchen. Let's try and get it in the middle. There we go. And the other one can come this side. There we go. And then in terms of lighting, I've got two lanterns. So let's see if we can add them here. Oh, that's a very, very small light. Anyways, put the other one on this side. Oh, 
I was hoping that they would give a bigger radius in terms of their light, but that's it, I suppose. Um, let's see, I've also got some rum barrels. They will go on this side. Oh, they are slightly bigger. That's better. Let's put them over here. There we go. Then, there's also some other stuff that I want to craft, but we'll probably have to go down to the artisan table to do that. Now, if I can just remember... Over here. Okay. Um, let's see, there was a couple of things that I actually had in mind. Let's see the alcohol distributor. These are all just alchemy. Yeah, it's just alchemy. Okay, so it must have been in a different place where I actually saw the alcohol distributor. Um, the Information is not going to be over here. The I've got a cooking station over here. It takes one iron bar. Let's see. I think I've got yes, I've got iron bars. This place in that one. Um, this is a campfire. It looks slightly different. Let's go with this one and see if we can maybe use this one. I think that might be a better option. And then what I'm also looking for is wine stuff. One basket, not really what I was looking for. Um, one shelf, two of them. It needs glass and it needs wood. So let's craft them real quick. Golden wine glass pyramid. No, I'm not going to use that one. I need a small barrel for that. Can I make a small barrel in here? Uh, lots of barrels, but not necessarily the one I'm looking for. That's the normal barrel. That's a small barrel. There we go. Uh, barrel rack. We can craft that one. Barrel stand. We can craft that one. Barrel with a cover. Need twine. Let's craft that. We'll go with that one as well. And then we will go back to the wine and craft that one. Okay, so we've got a couple of stuff. Let's just grab them real quick, as well as our resources. Which can go back in there. Okay. Uh, what is this one for? Oh, that's a bathhouse. Not what I'm looking for. So back up here, let's uh, see where we can place these guys. I'm going to take the bigger ones first. Well, I thought this one was bigger, but apparently not. Uh, which is the front? This one. Yeah. this yeah cannot really do anything else with it and then we will go with uh, the big one 
Uh, let's see where we can fit this in with the front of it. Uh, the same on both sides, actually. Um, we might actually place this something like this just to get a separation between the kitchen and um, the distillery basically and then also the campfire let's see what this looks like interesting uh, let's place it over here this will give a little bit of a separation between the kitchen and the walkway can I access it? Yes, I can. This is great stuff. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Maybe get a carpet in here. And uh, a little bit of seating, maybe. A table and some chairs. Maybe over here. Or maybe over here. And then... Also on this side... Of course, the wine racks that we're going to place against the walls. Uh, something like that. And the other one. We'll place this one over here. Just like that. In the barrel with the cover. Let's see what this looks like. There we go. And a normal small barrel. That's strange. I thought the small barrel was used in creating something else. But it was supposed to create something else. I think I might have taken it out before it was finished crafting. Let's just uh, have a quick look. So the small barrel, forgot to take, forgot to take that one. Yeah, I wanted to craft that barrel of the one basket. Yeah, I think I might have taken it out before it was finished. There we go. Um, this will go on this side. I don't think this one is big. Yeah, oh, it's very small. It's very, very small. I think I'll just leave this one for decoration on, on the table. So let's grab the other one. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. Still small there. There we go. Okay. Now, in terms of the fertilizers, um, what's the size of this one? It's just a normal wine barrel. I might uh, stack a few of them in here. Let's see if we can get something on top. Doesn't look like it. So, there we go, and then maybe can I put this on top, almost, I had it, there we go, this could work, there we go, okay, um, I actually want, probably going to need some more greater ice box, that needs star metal bar, which I have, it's just at the starter base at the moment in the dismantle bench. And then I'm also still looking for the fermenter barrels. But I just don't know where it is at the moment. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Silly me. My apologies. Let's put down a couple of them. Like that. What else is in here that we can use? Uh, 
Oh. This is another one. Actually looks the same. Just crafted... Uh, ah! Alcohol distiller. This is what we also need. Okay, this is fairly big. Which side is the front? This side. Hmm. Might place it down here. There we go. So it also takes a thrall. And then, of course, everything you need to make your drinks. Which is pretty good. And the same with these guys. This is just the upgraded version. Uh, slight clipping. Let's see if we can move it, maybe. Just a little bit. There we go. Much better. Perfect. Okay. So, what we still need in this space is probably going to be another box like this for all the drinks. Um, this is going to be for the raw food. Then we're going to need another one for the cooked food, probably. And we also need some oil presses that we need to get in here. Can we craft them yet? Uh... Oh, they are under alchemy. But I usually do use them inside my kitchen. So let's put down a couple of them. Just like that. And... That's going to be it for now. Yeah. That will do for now. Okay. So... Maybe a table and some chairs, but we d definitely, most definitely, gonna need more of these greater ice box. And of then we, of course, we need to get some ice that we can actually put inside of them. So I'm just gonna jump back to my starter base real quick and get the star metal bars, and uh, then we will be back. Okay, so it appears. I do have more star metal bars, but only 35 more, uh, together with the 79 that I use for repairing my shield. I'm probably going to have to go and harvest some more, so that needs 75. So I can make at least one. Oh, that's 10 too many. Um, I will just have to go and harvest some more. But for now, let's uh, copy that one. Let's get one for the drinks first. Um, now, let's get one for the food first. Now, the reason for that is... I may need to make sure that I can get my food going. There we go. So we can call this the raw food. And we can call this the cooked food. All right. And then in here, we are going to place storage, of course, decorations. Let's just, let me just see. Science and notes, no. Um, this is not what I was looking for. I think it's made in the artisan table, the science I'm looking for. So we can use this for the spices, um, which means decoration, storage, last chest. But we need to sign first at the back of it. So let me go and grab that real quick. I don't think I've got any extras. Let's just make sure. So, sign. Uh, 
We'll craft five of them. And then... We can use this in the kitchen. We'll place one storage over there. And... Um, We'll place another one over here. Alright. Okay, so next up, before we run out of time, I quickly want to uh, get some of the frolls basically going. Now, we need... There is somewhere building pieces for a stage. Arena, set of stages. Here we are. So this is what they look like. Looks like they snap. Um, let's see. Let's place two, three, just like that, and then we can have, and now it's not going to work with me in terms of the snap, is it? Oh, there we go. Like that one. Oh, this one doesn't want to switch between the different... oh, there we go. Come on. Just the two. Not going to do it for me. Like that. Like that. And... Like that. And there we go. A nice stage. Now we just need to get some railings in, I think. Mm, Ashbrick, I know it's got some nice railings. That's a fence. Let's see. Yeah, that, lo that looks pretty nice. Um, there's some more options around here. Like that one. Almost the same. And what else? Oh, and this one without the... Oh no, this is more like a half wall. This will do, I think. Without the spikes on the top. Yeah, it's looking better. This is a better choice, for sure. Uh, now, all of a sudden... There we go. Okay. Stage is set for the dancers. Uh, my dancers in here. I've got one so far. And we will place her over here. To take away the corruption. There we go. As you can see, it's disappearing. 7%, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, back to normal. Brilliant. I've also got some statues of uh, dancers, as you can see. Um, but I don't know what size they really are, or how big or small they are. This is just uh, medium and large. Let's see how big the large is. Uh, that's a pretty good size and the oh, is it probably medium size that's smaller that might actually fit better in in the back there what does the other one look like medium large okay Let's put one in the one corner. 
And the other large one in the other corner. There we go. Could have moved them back a little bit, I think. Okay, so stage is set for the dancers. Um, as I said, we're going to do something different over here where we're going to have uh, a storage place for our thralls. Oh, this is a nice statue. I like this one. Um, so we have to try and figure out something that we can do to get this a uh, little bit how can we say, it's separated from the walkway. So I'm going back to these half walls. I'm going to place them all along this edge, just like that. I'm going to continue this one. Just like that. Maybe I should leave a gap of two. And um, place a statue over here. There we go. Yeah. Liking this. I might actually double this statue on this side as well. Then we can have everything in terms of the thralls in here with their storage. So gonna need a sign. Let's place it here in the middle. Right up to against the wall. There we go. Decorations, storage, chest. And that's where we will put our thralls. So Let's just uh, have a quick look at the workstations that we have, because there are a couple of them that has, that's actually made for the thralls. Um, that's the artisan table, casting table, tanner's table, tinkerer's bench, joiner's bench, rewards maker, what is in here? Nothing. Uh, that's for pottery, that's for dyes, that's for weaving. That's the bath, house, workstation, exchange table, scribe table, illusionist bench, torturous work table. Most definitely going to take this one. Mm, let's use the move option. Yeah, you cannot move it too far, so you need to basically move it piece by piece. So, let's move this to this spot, and then we will move it slightly further. And move it up here. And we can place it right over there. There we go. Um, but there's something else that we can actually use, or there's another workstation that we use for thralls uh, specifically. That's the saddler's one, we can use and take that one. Fashionist thrall outfitter's bin. So these two need to move as well. If I remove this, yeah, just give me the uh, pieces back. That's not really what I want to do because then you need to remember what it was and come and rebuild it over on this side by using this one. I think it should be on the companions. Is it on the companion saddle? There we go. We will place this one over on this side. Just like that. And then the outfitters workbench we will grab and move this one. Uh, 
first to that spot, then up the stairs. Then we will move it to the stairs. And then into this spot. And we will put him over on this side. There we go. Perfect. And we will call this thralls. And we will change this one's name to thralls. There we go. All right, and uh, maybe a carpet in here or two. We are making progress and it is looking good so far. I just need to go and hunt some more star metal. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode because unfortunately that's all the time we have. But thank you for joining me and uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, leave some comments if you have any ideas in terms of improvements maybe that we can do. Maybe I've missed something. I will look for more decor that I can place in these areas. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Join the kingdom and we you will get notified of any new uh, videos that comes out if you hit the bell icon. That's pretty important. But thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Until then, enjoy.